hella low. Woo! Today we're gonna be do we're gonna be doing a little bit of cleaning in Martha's engine bay. Uh, right here. This used to be like a giant rush spot, so I sanded it, painted it, and I tucked some wire. This wire used to be like right there. I just tucked it right under there. And I held it on by a zip tie, and that looks super clean. Doesn't look so bad like before. That thing looks terrible. Then coming to this side, did it the same thing. Put a zip tie here. I tucked in this giant harness. These used to hang like out here somewhere, and it was ugly. So I pretty much tucked it in here. I tucked them in there, but they popped out when I drive. And it cleaned up the engine bay, not too much, you wouldn't really ever notice, but it just looked cool to me. So today I'm gonna try to do more. I'm gonna try to at least make this look cleaner, get rid of this ugliness. Back here, it looks fucking terrible, so I'm gonna try to make that look better. I want this Miata to look a little prettier, so let's make her look prettier. First thing I'm doing, these boxes are ugly. They need to go somewhere we'll never really see them. I'm looking right here, this little slot. What if we put, boom. <laughs> this is probably a fire hazard, but it looks pretty. That's what matters. Look at that, delete. Looks so much better. See like all that space, you can actually see, you can see some white. Where are my black boxes? Well, there they are. They're like gone. You can never see them, even if you tried. Number two, what else do I want to do? What is this? Who who cares about this thing? Actually, like, really, what is this? Are there supposed to be fuses in here? Well, whatever this is, look, it is freaking disgusting, and it this bracket's nasty. I don't even want this bracket here. So we're gonna delete, I mean, we're gonna tuck it. There's an ugly little ball. I'm pretty sure it's a 10. Here's my boy 10. And now we loosen it. Done. I came prepared today. I got a magnet cup. Hell yeah. Okay, now this bracket should. Wow, this thing is so ugly. This is not grounded onto anything. It's just holding on this plastic box that's literally empty. And this is for my, when I used to have cruise control, but I deleted that shit. Shout out to lit user Johan for helping me get rid of all of that. So now I gotta try to figure out how to take this out. I don't have a hammer on me, but I got powerful hands, so. Hey, I did it. I'm the man. Now here, oh my God, one of these. I'm just gonna twist it. Okay, plug that. Just twist it a bunch of times until it probably breaks. Back it is disgusting, I want it out of my life. Yes, haha. <laughs> yeah, that works, just keep twisting. See this bracket? Just make sure you toss it to your neighbors. Now this giant box that does nothing will go hopefully in. Yeah, we're gonna tuck everything basically like under where the fender bolts up to. Oh, it's gonna look so much better. It's just that it sucks. There's so many freaking holes. A couple hours later. Went out to eat, but time to get back on the grind. And as you can see, it's a little darker, sadly. So I wanna have more room. So I'm gonna take this typhoon clean and then take out in that Eiffel Tower, Strut Tower, Tower. If I remember correctly, that should be a 12. If it's not a 12, I'm gonna be upset. It's yeah. not a 12. I'm upset. I'm upset. 50,000 on my head is disrespect. 12, 12, 24. So 24 is off there, and then 24 off here. It's, it's, it's tight. I need both of my hands. Loose. Now the other guy. God, I tightened these. Part of myself. That is shit. Bam! All the nuts on the Eiffel Tower is off. Now I should come. I said come out. I think this is the hard part because there's so many annoying little wires and clips like. What is this? What, why is this here? I'm about to tuck that under the engine. <laughs> uh, uh, this side is out. It's on top of the intake. <laughs> Stupid bracket. Oh, got it. <laughs> She's off. Put the Eiffel tile on the side. 
Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Now it looks pretty empty. Now I gotta take Typhoon and take out. Uh, vacuum line done. TPS sensor. Done. 10 mil. Oh my god, I don't even think it is a 10. Great. It's an eight and a half or something. Yep, it's some weird eight and a half, whatever. How's this still on there? Come on, hop out. There you go. Now I'm gonna move it like that. I don't feel like I'm doing this. Look at all that room, and it looks freaking like it looks like cancer. So now I'm gonna sand all that car cancer off with a brush wheel. Well, there's a lot of dust down here, so I'm off. Oh my god. That is disgusting, dude. Here we have Cancer Killer 9000. Let's start brushing away. Ew. Here we have a light, because I can't see. Holy smoke. Bam. Look at that. So I cleaned up a pretty good amount. Now I got some wipey. I'm gonna try to clean off a lot of the dust that I see. As you can see, it got everywhere. That's okay. Cleaned. I cleaned up pretty good. Took off like most of whatever was really flaky. Now if I feel comfortable enough, I can have like a dinner here. If I drop a piece of ham, I feel like I can grab it and eat it still. I trust it that much. Super clean. Looks so simple. I love it. Oh, and I put these stupid boxes right here. So now it's like, it's not exactly tucked the way how I want it, but looks way better than having a stupid. I mean, look at this. It's so ugly. I can paint it black or powder coat. I'm not going to powder coat it, but it could look cool, but just, just get out. Look at that. That looks so much cleaner. Now, next, I'm going to do this AIDS looking ass. Sadly, my porter cable doesn't really fit. It, it hits clutch line and it hits the master. Yeah, it, I just can't hit. The, oh, no, nah, I'm not doing that. We got some metal toothbrushes. I use those sometimes to make my teeth extra white. To come for the an easy one, metal grade, and then more aggressive. We're crazy, so we're gonna go straight, going aggressive. This better fit. Oh my goodness. This can take a little while. We got a hang of it. Look at all that rust just floating. I don't want to breathe it in. I don't want to be rust high. A little hardcore. Now we see a lot of smoke coming out. The dust. You back away, hold your breath. Then release once you're far, far away. Ew, looks so scary. Come back and attack again. All right, I brushed the crap out of it. Um, that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna wipe it down. God, it's such a tight spot. <clears throat> a lot of sanding, a lot of toothbrush cleaning. I feel pretty confident now to be able to paint it. So here we have a bunch of paper, basically my old school paper for my good grades. So time to mask everything you don't want to paint. Bam, let's start painting. Okay, so masking everything kind of hard because I didn't bring enough school paper. So I'm gonna cover the things that are mainly probably gonna get painted. Now whenever I paint that spot, I'll move the papers around. You'll see. Grab your rattle can. Wherever you see the uglies, give a little spray. Ugly right there, a little spray. Ugly right there, a little spray. It's like white out. When you write something you didn't mean to, like a penis, you dilute it with this. Ugly. Now you can see all the dust flying out that we're hiding. That's fine. You just delete it. It actually looks really good in video. 
Whoa. That looks pretty cool. There's dust everywhere. That means overspray is gonna get on everything. <laughs> pretty ugly. Bam, be gone. Be gone ugliness. Oh God, I should have wear a face mask. You do not want to spray too close like I am. I just suck. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. It's starting to blend in with the paper. Oh wait, I painted the paper. Yeah, it's really looking good, but some spots are really hard to paint. You know how little trees have a little like rubber band? Put it on that. I ran out of um rubber bands. I don't I just don't have any. So I did that. And now I'm gonna spray around it. And uh the studs, ah, they'll be fine. Boom. Alright. Yes. Boom. That looks so clean. This is like the hardest part to spray. I tried. It actually looks white and not orange. You can see all the overspray getting everywhere. Probably all over the hood. That's fine. It looks like an LS. <laughs> oh my. I have to do that, white. What is that? Just a plug so water like doesn't get there. And maybe some used to go through that. Okay. That's not how you paint, but all right, I feel confident with everything. Time to remove everything. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of overspray. <laughs> you were not supposed to breathe that in. That. Oh, it better look good. How to paint get up here? I don't know why. Hopefully nobody ever notices. Look at that, overspray got it almost everything. Well, well, that's what happens when you do a quick job. Paint prep. Decide on how your paint will go. But wow. That is awesome. Way better than before. Remove this. Ew. Disgusting. I need to paint this black. It looks so bad. And as you can see, there's like little bits everywhere. Like stuck. Oh well. Look at that. That looks so good. Remember there used to be so much rust there? It was rust free pretty much. It used to be the same way here. It was like a giant line of rust and I used the wire wheel. Got rid of most of that rust, like the surface rust, and then painted it. That looks freaking beautiful. Well, time to put all these things back together. We're done, it looks amazing, but it's pretty dark, so we're gonna resume tomorrow. Two days later, here she is. It's shaved and cleaned up, pretty much. There's like so much room now. We removed the cruise control module, then this box that was here tucked in, well, yeah, I just shoved it in there. Then two boxes were here, shoved them in there. That looks so much cleaner. Oh, and then I tucked this wire kind of this used to be there same thing here tuck painted the tail that looks so much simpler now next thing i want to paint <laughs> so it's gonna be a little video a little edit And yeah, that'll be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Press that like and subscribe. You're awesome.